Well, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. So, coming at you today with the long-awaited Pursue Times Hope Scope. I've gotten so many requests for this. This might be one of my most requested videos, other than Gymshark. And honestly, I don't blame you guys because Hope Scope is dope. I don't really think Hope Scope needs an introduction, but in case you are new to this niche, Hope Scope, aka the Legging Queen, is a very popular YouTuber primarily talking activewear. She also does other fashion videos. Her stuff is really fun and creative, so I'll have her channel linked. But before we actually get into this video, it's time for my shameless plug. <laughs> Definitely hit that subscribe button right now. We love talking new activewear on this channel, clearly. Next up, we got Lisi Fit, Cup Sheet, some more navigation, possibly more Alpha Leap, and you already know a ton of new Gymshark. Getting a lot of questions about Black Friday. You might want to stay posted for that one. And in case you're wondering what jacket this is, it's a new one from Forever 21. I just picked it up. It's a cute little corduroy cropped jacket. I just did a decent sized Forever 21 outerwear fall and winter type of haul. So if you'd like to see that, comment down below and I can hook you up and we'll make a video on that. This jacket will be linked down below for you. Don't miss out right now. They have a dope sale going on. All right guys, so I actually have four individual pieces in this haul. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've never actually tried Pursue Fitness before. So this is a first for me. We got a nice variety. We have leggings, a sports bra, shorts, because I wanted to test out the shorts. And we also have a nice crop top with longer sleeve. My first impression when shopping these was that the pricing was very reasonable. For a seamless collection, nonetheless, it's pretty hard nowadays to find reasonable priced seamless. Am I right? Okay, so I have the long sleeve crop top in the black cherry color. Oh, I wanted that wine inspired color for the fall time. What stood out to me was the backing actually. You have a really nice open back. It also ties in the back. Gave me very yogi vibes, which you know I love that. So anything I could throw over a set and look real dainty and pretty, I'm usually there for it. So I also got one of these sports bras. I did get it in the color gray. I did notice the colors they launched were very subtle colors, nothing loud or in your face. I think right about now, in this period of time, I feel like we're all over the loud pieces. At least that's the feedback I've been getting from y'all. So it's really nice to see some subtle pieces that can easily be mixed within other ranges, things like that. So yeah, the gray is nice, perfect for the winter months. That's why I went with that color. My first impression, the material feels very durable. I mean, look at these. Look at these straps right here, how thick they are. Are you kidding me? I love the crisscross again. I can already tell this bra underneath the open back crop top is gonna look really pretty. Really thick type of material. And I love that heather type of textured look that this color has. Feels a bit textured, not rough, but it's not a buttery soft set either. It's got that durability factor to it that I feel would hold up in the gym. So I also have the matching leggings in the charcoal gray. I wanna take a moment to mention, I actually saw her talk about the fact that the tags, this little butterfly, I actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think she painted this by hand. It says Pursue Hope 2021. I think that's adorable. That's beautiful, like damn, she can paint. Like, I can't do that. <laughs> Ooh, so right off the bat, I didn't realize this, but there's an actual pocket in the back of this band that zippers. Nice, okay. These look very short gal friendly, and they're really stretchy. I didn't anticipate them being that stretchy just from the look of them, but there's a nice decent amount of stretch. But yeah, overall, such a thicker feeling legging than I'm used to. And with the colder months coming, I'm not at all complaining about that. Like, I need warmth. This is a subtle glute contour. You know I love my under booty contour. I love it, I feel like I need it for the most part to make it look like I actually have glutes. But this is subtle enough to not be too in your face. It's not those crazy thick looking contours under the glutes. And I do love the wavy movement down the leg. So it gives a really natural looking contour. You actually do have a little bit of a breakup too. You do have a raised seam contour down the booty cheeks. But it's, again, really subtle. It's not as in your face as a lot of leggings are. So, hmm, now you got me curious how it's gonna fit on the boot hair. These are total gym leggings, but in all honesty, I can actually see myself wearing a large cardigan because this heather color is giving me a little bit of that fall fashion vibe. So I feel like I could be very comfortable walking around wearing these and dolling it up with normal wear. And last but not least, I did get a pair of her shorts in the blue marl color. I got a different color just to mix it up. 
but I did make sure I got a color that would mesh well with the gray sports bra. Very cool tone color combination we got going on here, but it balances out and it looks really nice together. So, so same idea as the leggings in terms of contour, you still have that Marley design. Everything's pretty much the same. I do have to say I am very, very much loving the length of these shorts. They don't look like they're gonna be obnoxiously short or long, so that's a plus. It's very hard for me to find a real happy, comfortable medium. These just might do the trick. I just am curious to see whether it's gonna sausage me out or not, so we'll find out. I have to say this set as a whole, this color, I keep thinking it's wool. <laughs> it looks like a warm wool, but it's not wool. It's not made out of wool, trust me. It gives off that warm, fuzzy look. It looks, actually, it looks really classy, this color. Very sophisticated, almost. I don't usually go for grays or cooler tones, but dang, sometimes you just wanna mellow out a little bit, don't you? So let's talk sports bra really quick. First impression. First thing I noticed, actually, was my side boob problem is awesome. No. Basically what I'm trying to say is I don't have any side boob. I feel really secure here. That's the first thing I felt was this material right under the pits. I feel like this is a nice moderate type of a compression. This whole set is a moderate type of compression. I think the girls look pretty nice in this scoop here. What do you think? All right, not over the top, but it's giving me a little something. The thick straps are super comfortable. This is the type of bra where I feel like you can wear it to the gym, wear it out, wear it all day, and it ain't gonna get digging in like some straps, especially ones with plastic on them, little plastic adjustments. This does not have any form of adjustment, and I don't feel like I need it, it's very comfortable. You do have removable bra pads. I think my choose size small is perfect. But if you are in between sizes, I would probably suggest sizing down just because the backing has a little bit of that open look. So with that being said, if you're doing rows or something like that, it could lip up a little bit. So that's why I would think sizing down rather than sizing up if you're in between sizes. That's not bad or anything. I would stick to my true size small. But dang, if that's not a beautiful backing, I love the keyhole look. You also have the Pursue logo going right down the strap here. It's a really cool and unique placement for a brand logo. It feels just really durable more than anything. I think this is the highlight of this sports bra. It gives a little bit of sexiness, but a lot of durability and comfort. Comfort is key over anything. I know I wanna look hot and shit, but I really need to be comfortable or else I'm just gonna be wanting to tear the bra off. And then it's like, well, why you spend money like that if you need to take it off right away? But again, keep in mind, the way I'm feeling in this set is just based off of my measurements, which I will have linked down below, by the way. But yeah, this is just how it's fitting me. I'm getting on down to the leggings. Yeah, again, we have a nice moderate compression. I'm not gonna lie, when I first put these on, I thought I saw a little bit of a uni butt, but I actually grabbed the material and tucked it up. And dang, <laughs> it's working wonders on the peach. So do not sleep on this little baby raised seamed contour because it is doing its job, even though it's not noticeable, which I actually prefer. If it doesn't look like I'm getting help here, good. The band is nice and stretchy, but has a moderate tummy control. Even the contour going all the way down the leg, it has a wavy design, so it gives it some dimension. Great length. This is the type of legging that I shimmied up and it worked. It, it's not wrinkly anywhere. There's no weird Barbie crotch. There's nothing going on here, which is good. And especially in the camel toe department, I'm not seeing anything. This looks pretty dang smooth. I'm honestly not shocked at how nice the quality of this set, especially these leggings are, because I don't think the legging queen herself would collaborate and make leggings with her name on it if it wasn't up to her standards. So they're meeting my standards. I'm not really seeing much of a gape, if anything like baby baby gape, but deep squat, it's pretty good in that department. It's also looking pretty squat proof too. I'm not totally surprised. I know this is a darker color, but I also know it's a bit thicker in the material department. So I was pretty much expecting it to be squat proof. I think if you live in a colder area, like myself, New Jersey, it's frigid right now. These are the type of leggings I would grab and go to the gym with. 
not something that's lightweight and overly breathable where your legs are turning numb from the cold. I think this is perfect timing for this time of year. With that being said, I do think you will sweat a little bit more because it's a little on the thicker side. If you're doing an intense workout, keep that in mind. I do think this could trap a little bit of heat, but there's also wicking properties in it. It's a freaking legging for crying out loud. And especially with this contour and the color she came out with, I think you're good in the sweating department. Even with a little bit of a thicker feel, it's still very comfortable, still has a ton of stretch. So I have to say that most leggings that have a zipper on the band, usually it kind of creates a real thick, awkward band. But this isn't doing that. It's still lying really flat up against my back. Let's test out what will fit in here. Bay's gonna go ahead and drop a phone in here. Let's see if it does the dang thing. Go ahead, Bay, do it up. Come on, Bay, put that phone in that band. Ooh, whoa, wow, so this is an iPhone, what, 11 Max? Freaking iPhone 11 Max, one of the biggest ones, and it fits, that's crazy. I think that they found a really nice happy medium between comfort, meeting functionality, meeting really cute on the glutes. <laughs> because let's face it, sometimes you get one or the other. I feel like this set kind of does it all. Yeah, it does, it does a little bit of everything and it's got my vote. So I just noticed something that I have got to speak on. The tags are actually printed on the inside of the band. They're not those loose flappy tags that get you itching in places you don't want to itch. Okay, so these shorts, Dang, all right, hands down, love them already. So I'm not getting a terrible quad muffin or anything like that. They're not digging in, it's not uncomfortable, but it is definitely tighter around here. I do feel a little bit of a raise coming around here, a little raise of skin. <laughs> but with the moderate type of compression, it's expected to be a little bit tight around here. It's not uncomfortable or anything. I do think with this type of tightness, it shouldn't have a problem rolling up. Yeah, there's no problem with it rolling up whatsoever. I do think these are right in between wanting to be biker style. These are more like a midi short, but not quite biker. They're not too long. I feel like most biker shorts come around here on me. So they're that happy medium. So yeah, same as the leggings, moderate compression, zero camel toe. Same contouring, even the blue is fully squat proof for me. So yeah, overall great pair of gym shorts. Like I have, I have nothing to complain about other than a little bit of cinching right here. Very comfortable and very flattering. Again, this peach, a lot of room to play with back here. It's that type of legging where you can grab material right here and just put it in places you want it. Okay, so the long sleeve crop top is mad cute. <laughs> So this is more like a midi crop, not where your abs are really showing. I feel like it depends on your torso length, but for somebody like me with a short as hell torso, I'm not even seeing any skin from the front. The long sleeve is very much lightweight. It's a lot more lightweight than the set. It's very, look at this, like look how, that's stretchy as hell. So you best believe it's pretty freaking comfortable. I literally love pairing this color with the gray. Such a perfect combination for this time of year. The backing is the highlight. And yes, it does work with that sports bra effortlessly. So far, everything I've showcased, including this long sleeve crop, totally true to size. I wouldn't size up or down. If in between sizes, I think you could size down in the long sleeve though, if in between, just because there is a ton of stretch. All right guys, so that concludes today's review. Let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. My overall first impression of Pursue, I can't believe I slept on them for this long. I'm really glad my first time trying them was with the Hope Scope line because it left a good taste in my mouth and I definitely am open to trying more from them. So if you guys have any suggestions, anything you've tried from them that you recommend, let me know so I know what to try next. I think this collection is super durable. I think it's practical as hell. Does its job where it counts. And overall, I'm really impressed. I'm not gonna lie. I liked it better in person than me just looking on the website. Once I tried it on, it, it was different for me in a good way. So yeah, I would definitely give this collection two thumbs up. I think Pursue, I think Hope Scope did a fantastic job on this. 
and I cannot wait to see. Maybe they'll come out with some more together. Who knows? But I'm down for it. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, do not forget to subscribe. We have some really exciting stuff coming your way. So hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok because that is where everyone sees it first. I love you all so much and I'll catch you next time.